Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this is Tom with uh, the Outdoor Cook Store uh, I want to say thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I thought I'd do today a little more cast iron uh, cooking. Um, yeah, you have uh, I have the uh, Bayou Classic cast iron, eight and a half quart cast iron uh, Dutch oven here. Um, you know, I really love this thing. Uh, it's got the <coughs> Flange on the top, so for camp cooking, you can suspend this over a fire with uh, with a tripod and chain. Uh, so you've got heat from the bottom, and you put coals on the top. You got heat from both sides in the camp. Uh, we'll get into some of that a little uh, a little later. Uh, I haven't done any of that with this show with, on the video yet. But we'll get to that. Uh, this thing, you know, you've, you've seen me. Uh, you may have seen me bake bread in the oven with this. Um, it comes with. When you purchase this, eight and a half quart Dutch oven cast uh, uh, by a classic, it comes with a fry basket. So, I mean, I deep fry with this. I do everything with this thing. So, I really love it. Incidentally, we are running a uh, sale on our four quart, eight and a half quart, and twelve quart uh, by a classic cast iron Dutch oven. So, uh, that's fifteen percent off our already low price on our website. So. Uh, if you're watching this on our blog below the video, there will be a link to uh, click to uh, to get to that page and uh, uh, purchase a cast iron uh, Dutch oven there. These are country style pork ribs. They come bone in or bone out. And I used to just grill those up, direct heat. Uh, they, they're just fantastic. I love them. And then a while back, I found a recipe online for uh, cooking them in a Dutch oven in the oven. So I think we're going to do that today. Um, I'll leave a link to the uh, to the recipe I found um, in the blog post. But basically, what we've got is uh, chopped onion, um, some uh, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, uh, Tabasco sauce, uh, brown sugar, mustard, and those guys. So what we're going to do, I'm going to. Uh, first, kind of uh, saute these uh, onions till they're uh, you know till they're clear. It won't take very long. Then, when I add the other ingredients, let those cook for about 15 minutes. Then we'll put the uh, we'll put the ribs on and uh, cover. Put in the oven, slow cook, 250 degrees for. Two to three hours. My guess is uh, usually this doesn't quite take the full three, but uh, um, that's what we're going to do. And they turn out pretty darn good. Okay, uh, my onions are done. Now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. Here's the ketchup, Worcestershire, and Tabasco. Add that in. Screw that around. And my uh, brown brown uh, sugar and um, dry mustard. That was all was in there. So I'm gonna stir all that around. Let it simmer for 15 minutes, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna add our our. Uh, Pork ribs. Uh, pork shoulder country style ribs. These are boneless. So we'll add those. Get them good in the sauce and um, put them in the oven. 250. Slow cook for uh, between two and three hours. So anyway, I'll let this simmer in for 15 and uh, we'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, we're, uh, I've had this cook for about 15 minutes. Again, that's. Uh, you first, it's just simple ingredients. You first take a whole onion and cook that up till it gets uh, clear somewhat, um, and then you pour in your uh, ketchup, 24 ounces if I remember, and then you got uh, a couple of tea tablespoons of Worcestershire, a couple of tablespoons of of uh, Tabasco. Um, and then you've got some brown sugar, uh, dry mustard. I think that's 
pretty much it. And then, of course, your ribs. And these are, once again, the country style. They're, I just got a Safeway here in uh, California. So whatever local market, um, they should uh, they should have them. They're actually pork shoulder. They call them pork shoulder. And these are boneless country style ribs. Um, so what we'll do now, so I've got that in, let me wash my hands. Okay, now, I've got my oven preheated at 250. I'm going to put this top on. Let me turn that off. Put my Dutch oven top on. And uh, we're going to put it in here for two to three hours. I'm going to set it for two and check. See how tender they are. And just let it slow cook. And uh, those would be pretty darn good. They're, they're, they're pretty tasty. Uh, like I said, you can do other things where you can add, uh, add your own rub, whatever, maybe add some different sauces, but uh, this is a good, simple, basic recipe, and they're really tasty. So anyway, uh, we'll get back with you here in uh, a couple hours, and uh, let's see the finished product. Okay. Um, that's what she looks like. That's done. What I'm going to do, those are pretty tender, just sitting there, oh man, those are cooked well in there. Um, good, uh, about two and a half hours, maybe a little under, 220. Um, so what I'll do is um, put these on a plate and uh, get them ready to go and uh, give her a taste. So anyway, uh, that's what she looks like in a Dutch oven with some... With some uh, country style pork ribs. Right, there's a nice uh, plate of ribs. Come out of the Bayou Classic, eight and a half quart Dutch oven. Um, don't forget, <clears throat> eight and a half quart Dutch oven is uh, on sale at our uh, website. So uh, click the link if you're watching this on the blog. Click the link right underneath the video. It'll take it right there. You can get that on sale uh, if you're on. Like I said, if you're on uh, YouTube, well, get to the blog, click the link. Anyway, let me give this a try. Looks awful tender. Looks good. Looks good. Tastes pretty freaking good, too. That's good. Good, simple ingredients. Uh, nice recipe. Simple to do, so uh, give it a try sometime, and uh, good, good recipe to start with. Uh, it's good just the way it is, and it's a good recipe to start with, and maybe you can add a little of this or that to make it your own, but uh, it's a damn good recipe. So anyway, listen, thanks for being here, and uh, give it a try. Go out and enjoy the outdoor.